If you think the moon is a dusty rock planet in the sky and it's harmless, then it's not true. There's a place on the moon older than mountains, deeper than any ocean. They call it the South Pole Aitken Basin. And it whispers of cosmic violence, of secrets buried for billions of years. The moon may appear calm and lifeless, but hidden on its surface lies one of the most hostile and mysterious locations in the solar system. It's not just the largest crater on the moon, it's one of the biggest impact sites in the entire solar system. This is a place where history was scarred into the lunar surface by a cataclysmic event billions of years ago. But why is this place so dangerous? What secrets are buried beneath its deadly surface? And despite all its horrors, why are scientists obsessed with exploring it? Today, we dive into the dark abyss of the most dangerous place on the moon. But first, if you're loving this space adventure, a quick like for this video. That helps us share it with other space explorers. Want to join us on future missions? Then hit that subscribe button and become part of our crew. To truly grasp the sheer danger of this place, we have to journey back in time, all the way to the infancy of our solar system. Imagine over four billion years ago, the young moon, still fresh in its cosmic existence, facing an unimaginable cosmic disaster. A colossal asteroid, perhaps a world in itself, the size of Pluto, came screaming towards it. Its velocity, a mind-boggling 40,000 kilometers per hour, that's 25,000 miles per hour. Then, impact. The collision was cataclysmic, a force so immense it threatened to tear the moon's very crust apart. Visualize the energy unleashed equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs erupting simultaneously. The aftermath, a gargantuan scar upon the lunar surface, a monstrous impact crater. It stretches over 2,500 kilometers or 1,550 miles in width and plummets to depths of more than eight kilometers. That's over five miles deep. But this wasn't just destruction on an epic scale. It was a pivotal moment in history. Leading scientists propose that this impact ripped away layers upon layers of the moon's surface, exposing its deepest secrets. Ancient materials from the mantle, unseen anywhere else, could now be within reach. Think about it. Buried beneath that forbidding surface, the South Pole Aitken Basin might just hold the very keys to unlocking the mysteries of the Moon's birth, and astonishingly, perhaps even the Earth's earliest chapters. However, before we even contemplate venturing into this profound abyss, a colossal challenge looms. Unlike our Earth, the Moon is devoid of a comforting, thick atmosphere to diffuse the Sun's rays. This stark reality creates a world of extremes, Regions bathed in perpetual daylight alongside others shrouded in unding darkness. And incredibly, the South Pole Aitken Basin finds itself in the heart of lunar night, cradling some of the most profoundly dark places on the entire moon. Picture this, craters that have existed for billions of years, untouched by even a single glimmer of sunlight. Imagine a realm so utterly dark, so intensely cold that time itself seems to stand still. Nothing has ever melted. Nothing has ever shifted, nothing has ever changed in these abyssal depths. But brace yourself, because here's where the true challenge emerges. Deprived of sunlight's warmth, temperatures plummet to a mind-numbing minus 230 degrees Celsius. That's minus 382 degrees Fahrenheit. A cold so extreme, it surpasses even the icy plains of Pluto. Even the Apollo astronauts, who explored comparatively balmy regions of the Moon, were forced to depend on meticulously engineered heated suits just to survive the chill. And within this eternal night, unseen perils lie in wait at every turn. Deep, treacherous cracks scar the landscape. The ground itself is unstable, a deceptive facade over who knows what. And lurking in the shadows are hidden pits, silent voids ready to swallow a rover hole, or even a human explorer. But believe it or not, the bone-chilling cold and the oppressive darkness aren't even the most daunting obstacles. Beyond the tangible threats of cold and darkness, there exists an invisible enemy on the moon, far more insidious than the frigid temperatures and radiation. Here on Earth, we live within a comforting bubble of protection, shielded by our atmosphere and magnetic field. 
These guardians deflect the majority of lethal radiation emanating from both our sun and the vast expanse of deep space. But the moon, it stands naked, utterly exposed. Every single second, the South Pole Aitken Basin endures a relentless barrage of solar radiation and cosmic rays. The radiation levels here are not just elevated, they are a staggering two to three times higher than even in low Earth orbit, where astronauts already face increased risks. For any astronaut daring enough to venture there. Even a brief exposure of mere days could trigger severe illness, debilitating radiation poisoning, or tragically, even death. And when solar storms erupt, unleashing torrents of charged particles, the situation escalates from perilous to catastrophic. A single solar storm could instantly cripple vital electronics, inflict irreparable damage to spacecraft, and deliver a fatal dose of radiation in a matter of mere hours. Therefore, if humanity ever aspires to send explorers to this lethal realm, they will necessitate more than just courage. They will require robust underground shelters, shielding them from the cosmic onslaught, and radiation-proof suits of unprecedented resilience. Without these critical safeguards, their survival would be measured in borrowed time. But if you believe radiation represents the ultimate challenge, prepare yourself, because what awaits us next is the menace of dust lunar dust, as sharp as razors. The very ground beneath your feet on the moon is deceptive. It appears as a soft, fine powder known as regolith. But make no mistake, this is nothing like the harmless sand of Earth's beaches. Lunar dust is a malevolent substance. Imagine countless microscopic shards of glass, each one razor sharp. It's electrostatically charged, clinging to everything it touches, and shockingly incredibly toxic. This dust isn't just an irritant. It's a corrosive agent capable of slicing through the very fabric of spacesuits, grinding D-O-W-N shenizimri, and with chilling ease, embedding itself deep within human lungs. The Apollo astronauts, the pioneers who first walked on the moon, learned the brutal truth of this dust firsthand. Returning to their lunar lander, they found their suits coated, saturated in this insidious clinging, jagged dust. It wasn't just a nuisance, it was an aggressor. It tormented their skin with relentless irritation, seared their eyes with a burning sensation, and even triggered a respiratory affliction they grimly termed a lunar hay fever. Now, conjure this terrifying scenario. This pervasive dust breaching the seals of vital life support systems, infiltrating the delicate tissues of astronauts' lungs. The consequences are almost unthinkable. This seemingly innocuous dust could prove to be a silent, invisible killer. Yet, even amidst the daunting perils, the South Pole Lake and Basin harbors an extraordinary secret, a glimmer of hope in the lunar darkness water ice. Deep within the eternally shadowed craters, shielded from the sun's life-giving rays for eons, scientists hold a compelling belief. Vast, untapped reservoirs of frozen water are locked away. This monumental discovery has the potential to rewrite the entire narrative of lunar exploration. Water is the very essence of life as we know it. Imagine, if astronauts could successfully extract and purify this precious resource, lunar bases could transform from short-term outposts into self-sustaining havens, capable of supporting human life for months, perhaps even years. But the implications extend far beyond mere survival. Water possesses an alchemical potential. It can be cleaved into its fundamental components, hydrogen and oxygen, the very building blocks of powerful rocket fuel. Suddenly, the moon, once perceived as a desolate wasteland, could be reborn as a vital interplanetary fuel station, a crucial launching pad for ambitious voyages deeper into the cosmos to Mars, to distant worlds and beyond the limits of our current reach. However, before we can unlock the promise of this frozen treasure, one final, formidable challenge stands in our path. NASA, SpaceX, and other pioneering space agencies are already setting their sights on the South Pole, Aitken Basin, meticulously planning groundbreaking moon missions to explore this enigmatic region. But let's be clear. Survival here will demand technological leaps and innovations that transcend anything humanity has ever engineered. Astronauts venturing into this lunar abyss will require subterranean bases, offering sanctuary from the relentless radiation. They will need radiation-proof suits, pushing the boundaries of material science to withstand the cosmic bombardment. And to navigate the treacherous, eternally dark landscape, they will rely on AI-powered rovers, 
robotic pathfinders capable of operating in the most extreme conditions. Even with these unprecedented safeguards, the margin for error in this unforgiving land is razor thin. One misstep, one moment of inattention could mean instant, irreversible tragedy. But what if we rise to this challenge? What if we succeed against the odds? This could be more than just a scientific expedition. It could represent humanity's first tentative step towards establishing a permanent foothold on the moon, a stepping stone to lunar colonization. And beyond that, it could pave the way for even more audacious ventures, for launching crewed missions to Mars and to the myriad wonders scattered across the solar system. So the ultimate question hangs in the balance. Will humanity, driven by its insatiable curiosity and indomitable spirit, ultimately conquer the deadliest place on the moon? Or will the South Pole Aitken Basin forever remain a silent, haunting graveyard, patiently awaiting its next, and perhaps ill-fated visitor? Thanks for watching till the end. Like this video if you learned something, and subscribe for more updates.